Chip Thrills. Sup family, it's your boy Nate, AKA Tabasco Sweet. You're watching Cheap Thrills. You already know what it is, gang. Today, we're gonna be going after another classic summer staple, a soccer jersey that'll have you looking sporty and sensitive. Now soccer jerseys or football kits are something your boy can get behind. Supreme made a pretty iconic one a while back and Palace has some lit athletic wear too. Plus, have you seen what the Nigerian team was rocking this year? That shit was loud as Today, I'm gonna do a throwback piece to ride that sporty wave. I'm talking about that baby pink Juventus away kit that Drake was rocking. All summer 16. Now this is a multi-purpose piece, family. I mean, it works great for wiping up all those tears that you and the lad spilled over taking all those L's during the World Cup. You could just be having an athleisure moment and it's perfect for swaddling a secret baby. But I'm not judging. Soccer shirts are really having a moment this summer, but you gotta admit, so is Drake. Now TBH, I haven't always been a huge Drake fan. I mean, what do you expect, my guy? We're both too mysterious and sensual. On that Scorpio, you can't put two Scorpios in the same room together. It's too risky, family. We'll just end up with a bunch of diss tracks in our hands. Drake's super long new album, Scorpion, does have some serious slappers on it. Nice for what? God's plan? And you know your boy's been bumping in my feelings on repeat over here. But on some real levels, there's high key hella fillers in this album. I mean, 25 songs? Now either he's on one to get on one, or he's trying to hack his way to platinum. Anyway, enough about summer slappers. Let's talk about this MF jersey. Now Drake's jersey has a Jeep logo across the front, Juventus logo on the left chest, and it's rumored that he photoshopped his pics on IG, because he's missing an Adidas logo on the other side of his chest. Now we all know Drake can't be caught cheating on Air Jordan like that. Apparently the soccer jersey was a gift from French soccer player Paul Pogba. It's got his name and number on the back. Now all you real footballers out there know that Paul Pogba is the freaking GOAT for helping France secure the world championship this year. Now online, these jerseys will run you about $70. And I don't know about you, but your boy don't got that Degrassi money. So here's what you're gonna need. A pink shirt, white, black, and magenta felt, scissors, and a blade. Black tape about an inch wide, black and gold fabric paint, and a small brush. All right, let's get it, family. First things first, we're gonna draw out all the shapes we need in our felt. I got the kind that's sticky on the back so we won't have any hot glue bumps. First, you're gonna need strips of white, seven inches tall, and wide enough to go across the whole shirt. Next, you wanna measure out a black rectangle that's about six inches tall. Then, you'll need some pink strips to go around the sleeves and across the shirt. All right, that's enough instructions for now. Let's get cutty, family. Tight. Now we've got all our shapes cut out. Let's put these rectangles aside for later and get cracking on our letters. I'm gonna start with the Jeep logo to get warmed up because the letters are pretty big. You can use your black box as a guide to make sure your letters are the right size. Once you're done with your Jeep logo, go ahead and draw a little oval for the crest. Now that we've got everything lined out, it's time to start cutting it. Because we're using a blade, make sure you have a cutting surface. Precision is key. Make sure you got some extra blades on hand, family. This might take a minute. Tight. Now that our Jeep logo is done, it's time to get cracking on the letters on the back. First, we'll take our black felt and start cutting out a big number 10 on it. just in time for my 10th birthday. But for real, what number would you choose for the back of your jersey? Let me know in those comments. Me personally, number nine. Crunch up Supreme, family. Now just do the same thing with the letters P, O, G, B, and A. And then we're well on our way to Drake's iconic jersey. How do you say his name? P Pog? Pogba? Now just cut these out with your precision blade. And there you have it, family. Po bag. Tight. Now we've got all our letters cut out, as you can see. Now before we start gluing our shapes on, we gotta paint our collar black. Use a piece of paper as a barrier so the paint doesn't bleed through. 
Now it's time to start constructing the front of the shirt. You're going to need two white strips, your letters, your black box, and a pink strip. First, I'm going to hot glue our Jeep lettering to the black rectangle. Now to prepare our final piece, we still need our Juventus crest. I'm just going to take my black paint to our little oval dude here. This is our final accent. Now we're ready to finish the shirt off. Now I've already glued in our white strips. Next, we just glue in our pink strips and our logo. All right, to finish it off, we're just gonna glue in our Juventus crest on the left chest. Now for max authenticity, we gotta hit it with three gold stars above the crest. Now to get our paint dry, just hit it with a little heat, family. All right, now to finish everything off in the front, we just gotta add the accents to our sleeves. Just take your pink strip and measure out along the edge of the sleeve. I'm feeling like a six god already, family. Now, if this shirt doesn't make you want to call your ex and leave a long-ass voicemail, you're probably not doing it right. Now it's just time to finish off the back. If your felt doesn't have adhesive on it, just use the glue gun. Be sure to spell his name right, family. Pogba. Or else it's a dead giveaway, and all your hard work will have been for nothing. Now that that's all finished up, it's time for the last step, family. Hit that number 10. All right, family, let's get out of here. Just hit the shoulders with some tape. Just measure it so it goes from the collar to halfway down the sleeve. Whew, damn. You see this thing, family? Go! Basco! I gotta practice for my In My Feelings challenge. If I'm gonna go one take Drake on this, I gotta get my shit together. I gotta get warmed up, family. Kiki, do you love me? You guys f with astrology? Your boy's trying to get charted. Hit me up in those comments. I think I'm like a little pump sun, definitely a young thug rising. But TBH, your boy's probably a Drake Moon. I'm a sensitive player. What can I say? All right, now that this thing is technically dry, it's time to flex. I almost forgot. Can't be flexing without my DIY Scorpion chain. Sweater. Now if you watch my spinner chain tutorial, you should be able to make this no problem. Now as a piece of bonus content for my cheap thrills fam out there, I'm throwing up my In My Feelings challenge on the green screen. Feel free to composite Tabasco, aka your boy Nate, into whatever scene you want. I'll pick some of my favorites and put them up on the gram. Check out the rules below, family. Alright, let's get it! Trap, trap money Benny, this shit got me in my feelings, gotta be real with it. Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from beside me Cause I want you and I need you And I'm down for you always KB, do you love me? Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from beside me Cause I want you and I need you And I'm down for you always So what'd you guys think of my In My Feelings challenge? I gotta say, I'm feeling pretty confident on this one I think the shirt boosted my dancing ability by at least 12%. If you think your boy killed the game once again, give me a yuh. Yeah. But if you think your boy took an L on this one, which never happens, give me a nah. Just don't be surprised if I write a diss track about you. I'm just kidding, family. <laughs> Beef. It's all about love. Now since I'm feeling hella inspired by Drake right now, I'm gonna go ahead and hack YouTube, start raking in some views. The cheap thriller with the filler. Hey. Trap. Trap money, Benny. This shit got me in my feelings. Gotta be real with it. Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from beside me. Cause I want you and I need you. And I'm down for you always, KB. Do you love me? Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from beside me. Cause I want you and I need you. And I'm down for you always, Kiki. Do you. Y'all are still here? You're wild for this one, Cheap Thrills fam. Thanks for watching, family. 
Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn up in those comments. Pull up next week for some more heat. And while you're at it, show some love to our new shows. If you f*** with sneakers, you're gonna love Kick Me. Stay boosted, family. Damn!